What's up, everybody? I'm Richard. And I'm Sean. And we are speaking the language of bromance. Sean, you look you look well rested. Thanks. I got some sleep last night. I went to bed fairly early. Nice. Um, and, You're an old uh, man. I am. What time do you go to bed typically? Um, it depends. Like what ends? Usually, my days like daytime is is fairly free. Like anything I do, I usually like my my day day starts doesn't really start until like early afternoon, Mm -hmm. but I get up in the morning to take my kids to school. So I actually end up waking up at like seven, but I don't really have anything to do until like early afternoon. You get up around seven, get out of bed around nine, get on the bus at 11, sip in a drink and feeling fine. I used to do a little, but a little. <laughs> we've been dancing with Mr. Brownstone. Do, you have to, do we have to share that that's a Guns N' Roses song? Like, surely people know that, right? I don't know. This is like the third Guns N' Roses reference I've heard today, and I'm actually wearing an Appetite for Destruction t-shirt. Nice. Yeah, well, it was kind of the shirt that kind of made me think of it, but that always gets me. It was like, I get up around 7, get out of bed around 9. I'm like, what are you doing for two hours? Oh, but my point is is that despite the fact that I get up at seven, I usually don't go to bed till like 12, 12 gotcha. or one because, and then sleep for like six hours and then I'll come home and depending on like, I can do that. Okay. So Sean, I don't know if you know this, I have three kids. So I do know this. as a parent, I have trained myself to live on like six hours sleep. Yeah. It's always one of those things to me. So I get like, I usually go to bed about 11, 12, and get up at like 6.37. And it's one of those things where it's like, okay, I'm fucking tired, so I'm going to go to bed like 8.30 tonight. I go to bed, lay down. Or no, I don't even go to bed. It's just like it's 8.30, then it's 9.30, then it's 1.30 in the morning, and you're like, oops. Yeah. I'll I'd, sleep tomorrow. I do that. Yeah, so I, I – but the thing is, is I can only do like the six hours of sleep. I can only do that for like maybe four days. And then on Mm. the fifth day, I either need a nap or I end up, I end up oversleeping. Yeah. Is it the cocaine that helps? Yes. Okay. I was going to say. So, so much. (laughs) Well, Richard, I was wanting to talk about, talking about sleep, this involves a little bit of that in this, because I went and saw First Man starring your hero, Ryan Gosling. How is he my hero? I thought you had a huge man crush on Ryan Gosling. Not at like, all. Didn't you love The Notebook? No. Were you like, The Notebook is my, the greatest love story no, of all time? my wife loved The Notebook. I, you know what? In not. camps of love stories, The Notebook and P.S. I Love You, fuck P.S. I Love You, I'm all about Notebook. See, I, notebook. Liked, see I liked P.S. I Love You. Oh, my God. You know what happened in The Notebook, Richard? What happened? Love, true love. Yeah. His wife gets Alzheimer's, doesn't remember who the fuck he is. Yeah. He still stands by her side. Yeah. P.S. I love you. Husband dies of cancer. She's fucking his best friend in a week. Not a week. It's like. What was it? it like was two like, and a half weeks, three weeks. No, it was like almost. We've, a, had, this discu- we've had this discussion multiple. It was not a year. It, it was, was like, like six a year. weeks. No. It was, it was if, like six If it weeks. wasn't a year, it was close to. It was close mm. to a year. It didn't feel like it was long enough. Because, she fucks Jeffrey because there's Morgan. because okay because there's gaps in be, there's gaps of time in between the letters, like I think the first letter comes like like a it's month like on her birthday, wasn't it? Yeah, like a month that after was like he died. It was like a and he's month like, hey, after. Go fuck my best friend. No, the first letter comes like a month after, and then and then there's at one point she doesn't get a letter for like three months. Three and she's like, months. oh my God, is he fucking somebody in the afterlife? I'm going to go fuck some guy in Scotland, Ireland. Where'd they go? We went to Ireland. They went to they? Ireland. Yeah. Oh, because he was Irish. Uh, how do we get off this track? Don't Richard? you want oh, don't Ryan you, Gosling? Don't you want your wife to move on after no. you die? Not at all. You just wanted to pine for you until the end of yes. her days. What's the matter Listen, with you? We've been married for. Sean, I've been married 17 years. Like, I understand. You know, my wife's got you needs. Want- Richard, you know what keeps my will to live? The fact that I know if I die, my wife's going to fuck somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> what gets me, so my thing is like, so. I run on been, nothing but spite. <laughs> <laughs> like you said, like you've been married 17 years. I think Tiff and I have been married for five years now. 
And just the thought of like her going out and like finding some young dude, and like getting like wild and crazy, like that, that's what keeps my heart pumping. It's like, we don't get to get wild and crazy. Why am I going to let some young college kid get a piece of that when I've been putting in the hard work to keep this thing You running? put in the hard work and now you're dead. I know. It's the point. You keep it all. You keep living on. Okay. But okay. without dick in your are, mouth. Are you going to fuck somebody in the afterlife? Well, yeah, of course. In the afterlife? Probably not. Yep. I don't think you can. You know what that is? Double standard. It is a double standard. But her and I have talked about it. And she's okay with it. She's okay with you having sex with other people in the afterlife? Yeah, because we talked about it. I'm like, well, actually, it was if she goes, she's like, yeah, I'd be fine with it. But I'm going to go wild and crazy. What happens, and I'm when, gonna, what happens if she dies? We've had her and I talked about that. Okay, I'm gonna go wild and crazy. Like I'm gonna have threesomes. I'm gonna have foursomes. I'm gonna go to orgy parties. Sean, how many how many threesomes did you have before? Bef- well, no. The kicker is when I told her that she's like, I'd, I'd much rather you just find a girl and get in a relationship. I'm like, well, that's boring. <laughs> have sex with one <laughs> person. What I the rest do now. That's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Why would I want that for myself again? I'm like, ah, fool me once. <laughs> Richard, I've been sleeping on the couch for a while. <laughs> well, I got to make up for lost time. I haven't had any of those fun experiences. I went to college, Richard, and I didn't do very well in college. You didn't. I know, right? You didn't. It's like, oh, look at all these. Like, oh, those pornos are fake. Nobody really does that. And you find out they do. They all like, did. Oh, damn it. And you read and you read those stories in Penthouse Forum. You're like, those are made up. They weren't made yeah. up, Sean. You know what? When I think about it, my neighbors, when they're shouting and screaming, like, we're practicing a play. I don't think they're practicing a play, Richard. Probably not. I think not. they were swapping partners. I think they were. Yeah. Said, hey, I want to put this in Uranus. I'm like, that's not even in the play. Yeah. That's not in Harry Potter. I <laughs> don't talk about planets. Oh, Richard. Nothing really there. Just all Richard. Oh. So, like I said, I went to see uh, First Man, Ryan Gosling, starring as a one land. Lance Armstrong, Neil Armstrong. Lance Armstrong was a different kind of biker. Yep. Lance Armstrong also was kind of a dick. Yeah, he is. That's a story for another time. Like, I want to watch that movie that's out with him. Uh, But, yeah, he was like a dude. And he was fucking Sheryl Crow, and he fucked that up. Oh, yeah. You know what's awesome about Lance Armstrong? How do you fuck that up? Why would you want to fuck that up? Sheryl Crow is smoking hot, and she makes, like, really good fucking music. I like Sheryl Crow. I'm not not going to lie. I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed to admit it. Shell Crow was a half is a pretty decent artist. Tuesday Night Supper Club, that was a great fucking album. Yeah, I don't think that like I don't think you're like breaking any backs talking about that. I even like the Globe Sessions, which was their second album, and everybody shit on it, but I thought it was okay. Is she still singing? No idea. No, she probably quit because Lance Armstrong, jerk. Yeah. And the ego, the ego on Lance Armstrong, I think it had to be a much bigger ego than Neil Armstrong because the day or a couple days after like this big indictment came out against Lance Armstrong was like yeah he's steroid he like yeah. ruined people's lives he took a picture of himself Richard on his couch big ass couch in front of all seven framed yellow jackets or eleven framed yellow jackets whatever the hell it was yeah uh, that they get for all the times the he, France. yeah we wore the one yeah. the, and he's just like he's fuck like, you yeah money check still cash bitches deuces laughing all the way to the bank. Sons of bitches. But anyway, Richard, I went and saw Neil Armstrong starring as Ryan Gosling on a first man. My balls are like the a- size of planters cashews, but I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> no, they have small balls. Oh, yeah, planters cashews because they're little. Because they're little. Dude, and, and guess what the steroids do. Like, think about his taint, too. Like, how sore would that be riding? Like, they ride for like a month straight. That's true. Like, I ride a stationary bike for like 30 minutes, and I can't piss right for a month. I think you should see a doctor, Sean. I don't think that's how that works. <laughs> I don't think that's, well, they, how are you riding? Have, I think you're riding the bike wrong. That's what I think. <laughs> well, I mean, it's the straight pull, and you got to like sit on it, and it it's metal, and it goes right up your rectum. Wrong goes bike. goes straight through your anus. No, that's not, that's not a bike, Sean. That's known as the no. liberator. <laughs> Up, down, up, down, up, down. <laughs> it's a stationary bike, but there's a motor attached to it. <laughs> but Richard, I went and saw the movie, and it had a lot more questions than answers. And I, I kind of want to dive into this whole like moon landing thing. Oh God, we'll probably, are you going to tell me the moon landing's fake? No, I figured we could probably we'd probably talk a little bit conspiracy, but I just think like the whole idea, the space race, and all that was really interesting. And 
it's one of those things that I don't think a lot of people know the history of everything because I didn't. And even to this day, like I was like, well, how many times did we go to the moon? Do you know how many times we landed on the moon, Richard? How many times we landed, landed on the moon? Yep. Uh, four, right? No, six. Six. Which blew my mind because I was like, I thought it was like three because I thought it was 11, 12, 11, 13 12. failed, and then 14. Yeah. But in looking today... So 11 was number one, right. 12 was number two, 13 failed, and they right. had to come back because we all saw Tom Hanks in the, the spaceship. We yep. saw that documentary. Saw that. Four, 14, 15, 16, and 17 all got there safely and landed. And they came back, and then he shook Richard Nixon's hand, and he had to go pee, right? Yeah, he's like, sorry about your sheets. Some, <laughs> sorry I ruined your space module. <laughs> and then he was like hanging out on a ship, and some dude came on. He's like, look at me, look at me. I am the captain now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's kind of been all over. And then he landed it in the in the Hudson, right? Yeah, he did and saved everybody. Mm-hmm. And he's actually going to be in a new movie where he talks about it. And for some reason, they're talking about his neighborhood. I don't know why. It's weird. He wears That's... like a red jacket. Oh, I was thinking that he, he I remember the one he, where he's talking about the neighborhood and he's wearing a blue robe. And his neighbors are killing people. And this was Which Walter. The Burbs. Oh, I don't think I've seen the birds. <gasps> I came out like what, 83, 84? How old do you Show's think I am, over. Richard? <laughs> Show is over. We have so to go watch the birds directly after this. All right, second commentary ever. We did uh, Big Trouble in Little China. Now we're going to do the birds. Oh, my God. I watch that movie like at least once a year. Uh, so Do you really watch yeah. that once a year? That's a great fucking movie. I think my favorite Tom Corey Hanks. Feldman's in that movie. Young Corey Feldman, I'm yeah. guessing. Yeah, was he all coked up? Probably. Corey Feldman. What I love about them is like they're they're always doing those like anti drug videos. He's like, I always did those high. <laughs> <laughs> but so these Apollo missions are just so Gemini was like the the first big bit. Where oh, they're trying I forgot to, about Gemini. Yeah, like they're trying to do stuff kind of more in Earth's orbit to figure out like, can we even do this thing? Yeah, John Glenn. And, and I don't even think about it until like you get out like as I came out of this movie and looked at the moon. I mean, because like we we lived in an age, you know, we were both born in the 80s. Yeah. You know, when we grew up in the 90s and everything, like we had been to the moon. So it wasn't a big deal. My parents, on the other hand, they were born at a time where we hadn't land on the moon. Yeah. And that's just a crazy feat to think of like how far that is. And like as you get older, you think of like the actual science behind it. You're essentially like throwing a baseball at a, you know, at a just a spot hoping to land, right? Yeah. So the the movie kind of goes through the whole Gemini project where they're doing all these things. And then they have all the Apollo missions. Yeah. And, and again, so the one thing that seems weird to me, I'm going to back up on some of these. So Apollo 8, 9, and 10, I believe, at least it was 8 and 10, went to the moon, right? right. So imagine, Richard, who was? do you even know who was in Apollo 8? I don't. Yeah, nobody knows. Nobody cares. Like, did you fucking land on the moon? Yeah, nobody no. cared because they didn't land. Yeah, exactly. They just went there and came back. Mm-hmm. It's like, hey, Richard and I flew to San Diego. Oh, really? What would you see? Nothing. We just in yeah. the airport. We circled We circled around and came back. <laughs> it was a layover. But so so just so we know, Richard, Apollo 8, it was Frank F. Bowen, Bowman, Borman, okay. James A. Lovely, and Williams A. Andrews. These guys... Went to the moon. God, that's see, but like, think about that. Like, you go to the moon and you don't land, and everybody forgets you. Yeah, like you risked your life. So they they traveled for two point eight days yeah. to get to the moon. They orbited it ten times over the course of twenty hours, and then came back. So I mean, you basically like you come back. Everyone's like, "Oh my god, that's amazing! You saw the moon firsthand!" Like, yeah, yeah. And then, and then Neil Armstrong's like, yeah, fucking hold my beer, bitches. Yeah, I'm going to put my foot on it. I'm going to put my foot right up in that sea of tranquility. Get up all in that. So you have Apollo 9. I think they get close to it, <clears throat> but not as close because Apollo 10. Okay, so uh, so hang on, back up. I'm curious. Okay, so like Apollo 8, 9, and 10 was the purpose to land, but they didn't for some reason? Or was it that... They was that the point? Was that the purpose? The purpose was just to was just to get there. Well, Apollo eight its its main uh, objective, I think, was to get there, orbit, and come back. Okay. Uh, nine, I don't think even got to the moon. So they were. Let's see what their main objective was. 
Basically, they were just trying to dock and undock with some of the stuff they were going to use for it. Okay, okay. So they, they didn't even get to the moon. But, like, okay, like you were just saying, like you talk about the 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 enormity of it and how you and I, for example, are like, well, we went to the moon. Like, we were there, so what? And then people, like, younger than us or older than us are like, we fucking went to the moon! Yeah. Fucking USA! USA! <coughs> well, and it's something I started thinking about, like, you know, we talk about, like, we want to go to Mars, right? Like, that's the big, the, the big thing everybody's talking about is, like, we've done the moon, let's go to Mars. Let's we go to Mars. back to the moon in, what, 47 years? God, has it been that long? It had been 71. 71 was the last yeah. time we went? Yeah. Shit. So, so 40 plus years. And I thought I read somewhere that they've lost all the technology that they had then to get to the moon. Have well, you heard that? I don't know, but I do know this. That like okay, like the desktop that I that I currently have is roughly about a thousand to ten thousand times more powerful than all the technology we use to put a man on the moon. Well, fuck, Richard. Why aren't we on the moon right now? Let's oh put our laptops God, we together can send ourselves <laughs> to the moon, babe. What are you doing, Richard? And I are going to the moon. We're going on a moon adventure. Siri, take me to the moon. <laughs> Siri and then it starts playing REM and we're like no not man on no. the moon we want to <laughs> go to the moon you suck Siri I'm going to Alexa I don't care about Andy Kaufman right now I want to go to the moon <laughs> but I thought what was intriguing so we know Apollo 11 got to the moon landed I was looking through Apollo 10 because again because I was like well fuck how many times have we been to the moon and it was six times six times so this is the people, Richard, the guys right before. So these, this was like going to our sex thing, you know. These are the people that got, you know, that put in the hard work, got it there with our wives. Yeah. And then just got just about that close and yeah. had to pull out and go back home. They and didn't Neil make Armstrong, any babies. No, Neil Armstrong. Like, out early. Neil Armstrong's like, I'm, I'm bashing right into that yeah. you anus apollo 10's like we'll use the rhythm method and neil armstrong's yeah. like fuck that so apollo 10 they're credited though with being the furthest manned vehicle from earth oh because, because where the it, moon because of yeah, where the moon the was rotation, relative the moon. to yep, okay yep, exactly so they have that still but you know did you know no do you care no do you even know these guys name no nope do you even know the third person on the uh, apollo 11 mission i I used to. It was Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and I, Steve? I saw the movie. I don't remember. Let me look. Oh, my God. What is the matter with you? No. Michael Collins. Ah, okay. I was close. No, you weren't. Nope, not even a little And Michael bit. Collins is like, every goddamn time. <laughs> I go to a conference, and I, they say, hey, from Apollo 11. And everybody's like, I thought Neil was dead, and Buzz is he still was alive? like partying up. I don't know. Michael? I know Buzz is still alive. Buzz is still alive. He punched the dude in the face. I loved it. I loved every yeah. oh. second of it. Oh my god, I watched that video so many times. You know what I'm talking yeah. about? Michael's still alive. Yeah, because somebody told him what the moon landing was fake. Yeah, somebody goes up, like gets in his face about like, oh, moon landing was fake or whatever. And Buzz Aldrin, like at all, I think at that point he was like in his like late sixties and just fucking clocks this dude right in the mush, just whap. I mean, what like. First off, if the moon landing was fake, okay, like he probably wouldn't do that. He'd probably just leave. But the fact that like he got super offended by it, cause, because I mean, think about it again. He traveled. I was all, through it, space. That's what I'm saying. Like this mother, like if I'm Buzz Aldrin, I'm like, I would have punched him in the face too. Because yeah. my thing is like, look, like I got in a, I got in a fucking, I got in a capsule the size of a fucking broom closet. I Traveled. sat I sat on a I sat on basically a bomb that hurled me fucking 5 miles into the sky and now then I'm in space the most one of the most dangerous places in the entire universe to be I'm dealing there's temperature there's lack of oxygen there's radiation there's like Two gajillion things that could go fucking yeah. wrong, but it ended up not. And I spent. Let me put it at the starting point. I strapped myself to a rocket yeah. and shot myself in space. And I spent three days fucking hurtling through nothingness in a broom closet on a wing and a prayer. And I landed 
on a f- on the fucking moon. Yeah. And Something I'm walking that, guess what? around and I'm fucking, I'm like, I'm one of the first human, she, I'm one of the first human beings. I'm here for a pivotal moment, not just in, in U.S. history, but in world history. I, I am part of an event that will be talked about for the rest of our civilization. Hey, you remember the first time we went to the moon? Yeah, and you know the guys from Apollo 11 or Apollo 12 were like, hey, what about us? He's like, fuck you guys. Yeah, what are you? I don't even know your names. I was in the mission. You got sloppy seconds, Moon. <laughs> the guys from Apollo 17 were like, hey, what about us? Wait, we had more? <laughs> I just thought we had Tom Hanks and stopped. <laughs> but then, And then this motherfucker, and after he gets to the moon, walks around, like I says, completes an achievement unheard of in human civilization, then somehow manages to get back to earth. And then this fucking mealy mouth motherfucker is like, well, the whole thing was fake. I'd be like, are you motherfucker? Wow. Wow. You haven't been out of the state, your mom's basement, let alone. Oh my God. I would have punched him so hard with a fury of a thousand sons. I'd be like you like surviving on a desert Island for like a month. Yeah. And then getting picked up and like surviving, and someone's like, "Dude, that was all fake." Yeah, like you like, didn't really, was- like you didn't really do that. They brought you food and stuff, right? I'm like, ah, yeah. and then I just leap out, like I, like I'm telling, like this, I'm at a TED talk, right? And I'm giving <laughs> this whole fucking speech, and then I'm like, okay, it's time for the Q and A portion. Somebody's like, that whole thing was fake, right? And I just jump off the stage and just throttle him with my bare hands, I'm like Richard, Richard, stop. <laughs> He said it was fake. I'm the Buzz Aldrin of (laughs) Desert Island Survival. But Richard, Paul 10, uh, let's see, their names, like I said, uh, Thomas P. Stafford, John W. Young, Eugene A. Carnan. These guys, I think, if you had like the the most space NASA cocktease ever, these guys had it. So... Let me set the, set the stage for you. So okay. Apollo 9, or sorry, Apollo 8 gets there, orbits, comes back. Okay, okay. Apollo 9, I don't know exactly, but I think they just kind of did something more in our orbit. Like They're just, just like grazing out. the tip. They're yeah, like yeah. the hand job of moon travel. Oh, so Apollo 9, or Apollo 8, like, they went to the strip club. They saw it. Yeah. like, yeah, we like it, but, you know, we're not marrying the stripper. We're just looking. Right. Come back. Kind of a cock tease. Apollo 10, Richard, they get all the way out there. Go like, around it. Like, okay, so wait, so Apollo 8 is like the over the shirt feel. Like, I'm going to rub your booze, but like over your sweater. Yeah. Uh, I think it's more of a flash, probably. Okay. Yeah. No, yeah, no, you're no right. touchy, touchy. Like, you're at Mardi Gras, and then you're like, show me your boobs. Yeah, throw your beads. Yeah. These guys are like. And then the like, moon's like, woo. And you're like, oh my God, that looks so amazing. Yeah. And then, you, and then you, you're talking to your friend on the cell phone, and your friend's name is Mission Control. And you're <laughs> like, Mission Control, can I touch the boobies? And Mission Control's like, no, you can just look and then come back. And then you're like, fuck. I hate so Apollo Mission 10, Control. <laughs> Apollo 10, Richard, they do the same trip to Mardi Gras. No. Oh. But Mission Control is a little nervous about Apollo 10. So Apollo 10 gets out there. They orbit, and this is like a full dress rehearsal for Apollo 11. Okay. So they got the, uh, it's what they called the Eagle. They they dis- they uh, detach from their main lunar module. Yeah. And they start descending towards the moon. Yeah. Now, they know this when they're going down, but to ensure that they don't get all the way out there and land, they were only given enough fuel to get halfway down and come back up. So if these guys oh my God. decided, said, okay, fuck you. Right. I was going to say, like, how much self-control do you have? Like, okay, so Sean, say it's you and me. Okay, it's you and me in the module. Let's Okay, let's say we're not even, we haven't even launched and started going down yet, okay? But we both know that there's only enough fuel to go halfway down and come back. All right, so it's you and me in the module. You ready? Let's have this conversation. Okay, so mission so, control. This is Eagle One getting ready to detach. Eagle One, Eagle um, One ready to detach. E- Eagle One, radio silence for about five minutes. Sean, listen to me. Okay, I what's underst- up, Richard? I understand that we only have enough fuel to go down. 
Like halfway and come back. <laughs> we'll go down halfway. <laughs> you get Just it? The tip. We don't, hey, we're not even, hey, Richard. That's Richard, do you want to give me give me eagle head? No, we're not doing that no. right now. Listen, listen, focus. Okay. Okay. We're not listen. even. We're not even grazing. Okay. We're not even. It's not like just the tip. Okay. I know, right? Did you hear? Get, hey, I heard that they're fucking gonna let Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin on Apollo Eleven. Okay, fuck that guy. Yeah, that's listen. a bullshit. Okay, listen. I have a crazy idea. You ready? You ready? What if instead of going halfway down and coming back up, we just go down and land? But we won't be able to get back up to the module, Richard. Yeah. Richard, listen, listen. No. We'll die. We'll die on the moon. We will. We'll die on the moon. But we will be the first people on the moon, Sean. You and I. No, Sean, listen. This is this is this is the moment, okay? No, Richard, listen. Life is defined six or seven moments. I watched this movie called Deadpool (laughs) Two, and he talked about (laughs) six or seven moments. Okay. No, Richard, listen to me. Guess what? We go down there and we die. Listen, Deep Throat just came out. My wife is going to be single, and she's going to be the (laughs) ex-wife of a dead astronaut who was the first man to walk on the moon. She's going to get as much dick as she wants, Richard. That's a good point. I can't handle that. She's probably going to fuck Neil Armstrong. Fucking Balls Aldrin. Yeah, it's going to be Balls Aldrin, not Buzz Aldrin. Balls Aldrin all in her mouth. Sean, we go, <laughs> that's, okay. that's where you're like, I bet he's already balls deep right now. Richard. Oh my God, I'm crashing into the moon. <laughs> <laughs> we could do this. Okay. We go down on the moon. We're like, you know what? Fuck you. We're on the moon. And then what would you do is we'd uh, probably die, but we'd be the first people on the moon. They would talk about us forever. Sean, it'd be your name and my name. I wonder if they had a, forever. all the equipment. So if they would have done that, if they had the equipment where they could have walked out on the moon. I would think they would have because they would have had to have, I would think that they would have had to have the equipment to, because that Eagle module, it's not like, it's not, it, it's not like there was a separate compartment for them to put on spacesuits and get out. Yeah. I'm not a hundred percent. I mean, the movie showed it like that, but that could have been like, well, we got to see Ryan Gosling's pretty blue eyes. It's like, yeah, true. You do. But like, I, it, like I got the impression that the thing was only big enough like you had to have worn the suit. You had to have been like fucking fully decked out in the goddamn space suit. I don't, unless they fixed the, the technology. I know some of the later ones, they stayed on the moon for like a couple of days. No, so I there had to have been something in there to, to allow them to get in and out. But no. Okay. So it's like, all right, mission control. We're approaching our descent. So we are at, 25%. Oh, oh no. So, something, something's wrong. Oh God, I think, goodness. I, oh, it's, oh, oh, it's stuck. Oh, it's stuck. Oh, no. I can't, we can't go back up. I, oh, I guess Eagle we'll just one, have to Eagle one, you need to stop. You're approaching 46, 47, 40, you're at the point of no return. Oh, fuck. Oh. They're gone. So if you could send us some gas, that'd be great. <laughs> All right, Eagle One. We uh we think we've got Apollo Eleven here. Just just call Buzz. just call Neil Armstrong. He could be our he could be our gas bitch. Yeah, don't fuck my wife, Buzz. Yeah, don't fuck my wife. Bring me my goddamn gasoline because I'm on the motherfucking moon. <laughs> so we land and they give us all the equipment. We're sitting there and they're like, all right, we're gonna launch. You've got enough resources, I think, to last you like four days. So it'll be a tough tide if you 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 know you maintain your resources, but we should be there to save you. Yep. But do not leave the eagle. Neil Armstrong has dibs. And like we're sitting there with our feet out, it's like, oh, I'm gonna touch it. Oh, I'm gonna touch <laughs> you're it. You're like, you're like sitting there, like on the little ladder, like with your <laughs> foot dangling out, like oh, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna oh do no, it. gravity's pulling me. <laughs> There's Oops. no gravity. Uh, First oh, one here. You don't know that. You're not here. <laughs> you don't know what what gravity they have and what they don't have. Because you're not here. You know who's here? I am on the moon, and I'm gonna jump out. Bomb style. That's one small leap for Sean. One giant leap for Sean Kine. <sighs> Nailed it. <laughs> that's that's not what we had written. I don't care. I'm on the fucking moon yeah, and you're not. Fuck hey, you. I'm on the moon. Hey, can you see this, NASA? Yeah. No, we can't. You're far away. It's my fingers, bitches. Hey, guess what? I'm going to moon you on the moon. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, and, God, he's dead. <laughs> and he's drifting away. Sean, no, I want to bury you on the moon. I'll take you on moon grave. Oh, this is really thick and hard. I can only get two inches deep. (laughs) That's what Buzz said. (laughs) Fuck that guy. Fucking Buzz. Do you think any of them uh, tug going out on the moon? Fuck my wife. (laughs) (laughs) 
I wonder if echoes work up here. Let me take my mask off. <laughs> oh, they're both dead. And our third is like, fuck, I told him not to bring the bromance guys. Yeah, you know, that's the other thing. It's like you and I are having this conversation and be like, you know what, let's just go down there. I mean, maybe we'll die, but... And then there's the third guy in the back of the module like, wait, what? I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> well, they only put two in the Eagle. They left one in the, the lunar module to keep, oh. keep it from going crazy. Okay. Because that's the other cock tease. So you think of, like, so Apollo 10... You know, the two guys got in the manned vehicle and got super, super close. Like, I think they got, like, within miles, probably less than miles from the uh, the surface of the moon. Did you ever play that moon landing game? There was this old, 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 old game where you had to land a lunar module on the moon. It was, like, the hardest fucking thing in the goddamn world to do. Mm-mm. Oh, my God. What was so hard about it? It was because like you're going and it's like super fast and you got to like use the thrusters and everything in order to like land on the moon all nice and smooth. I got you. And like you always ended up fucking just crashing in super hard. Yeah. And that's the, I mean, like you think about that, you land wrong and break something, you're fucked. You are super fucked. You know why? Because you're on the goddamn moon. Yeah, no AAA out there. Yeah, now what? Uh, but Apollo 10, they get like super close, like I said. They only gave them enough fuel to get halfway and get back because there was concern. It's like, well, what happens if they get there? And they're like, well, fuck this. We're going all the way to the moon. And apparently the, the astronauts like, well, they could have trusted us. You know, we wouldn't have done that. I mean, I guess you could have been like, nobody would know. You could be like, oh, God, space sickness. <laughs> space madness. Oh, I'm sorry. You go, oh, God, could you imagine? So let's say they give them enough fuel. Like these guys, like, okay, it's you and I. Neil and Buzz are just dicks, right? They're rubbing this in. It's like, hey, guess yeah. what? You guys are going to get there with the tip. We're going to go all the way. We're, We're going, going balls the deep. And while you're caught, I'm fucking your wife. <laughs> Wait, what? Why do you have to be a dick about it? Well, you're already in the uh, capsule, so there's nothing you could do. You're strapped in. Fuck you. Bye. I'll tell your wife I said hi. Guess what? what? I'm not using just the tip either. God damn it. I'm using the full buzz. So, yeah. He's burying in the the moon and plowing. He's plowing in the moon (laughs) and my wife. (laughs) So we get there. We land because they gave us enough fuel because we talked them into it. It's like, come on. Like, we won't land on the moon. What happens if we get halfway and, like, the moon's gravity pulls us and we burn too much fuel? Oh, my God. And then we'd have to we'll, – yeah, and then you – we'll have taken all yeah. our reserves. We'll need enough – we'll need – let's have the fuel just in case. Yeah, just, just in case in we case. need it to get back. Do you want to kill us, Houston? Is that what you want to do? God damn it, Houston. Why we don't want to have a problem. Yeah. We're not Apollo 13. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Tom Hanks. <laughs> Who's Tom Hanks? You'll know. You'll see him. So we do that. Like, they give us enough fuel. We say, fuck you, Buzz. Like, yeah. that's our. That's what we say. We land. Fuck we're like, you. sorry, space me. sickness. Buzz, Buzz, look at me. I am the moon lander now. <laughs> Buzz, Buzz, I'm number two on the moon now. Not you. Fuck you. Now I'm going to plow your wife. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, first I landed on the moon, and then I landed in your wife's Uranus. Get what I'm saying? <laughs> did both of them first. <laughs> did both of them before you did. Fucking buzz. I bet it was even fake. <laughs> I bet when you did it, it was fake. <laughs> I bet she faked it when you did it. Richard, you son of a bitch. Ah, ah, ah buzz. <laughs> Let's not let this get out of hand. So, yeah, so we land, the cameras flip out, and, you know, NASA's like, oh, just go up, go up, don't, you can't walk, and we walk out, we're like, well, that's what, we do it at the same time, too, because we're not dicks like Neil. Right. Neil's like, fuck you, Buzz, I'm going first. Oh, yeah, Thump. we're totally holding hands when we do yeah. it. We go, boop, same time, walk in, like, well, that's one small step for not Neil and Buzz. <laughs> One giant leap for Richard and Sean. One giant leap to get in Buzz's wife. <laughs> hey, Buzz, are you on the comms? This is Buzz. Uh, when does your wife want me to give it to her? I'll be back in about four to six days. <laughs> hey, Buzz, one more thing. What? I'm going to bring her a moon rock. <laughs> and I'm going to plant my moon seed. <laughs> I'm going to plant, plant my flag in her moon, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Oh shit! You wouldn't even have a flag. You have to make one up. Oh, we'd make a language of bromance flag while we're sitting there. <gasps> oh my god, it's perfect. Planet LLB army. Aliens come. Like, like no, it's army. okay, Sean. I got it in my pocket. Oh shit! It's in my inside pocket. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> <No>! <laughs> 
I'm just carrying you around like weekend at Bernie's. <laughs> I'm flipping up. I'm flipping up the little visor. And I say we eat the beaver. Oh, uh, oh he slipped out of my hand. <laughs> he slipped out of my grip. No, come back. I tether you to me. Come back, come back, come back. And the guy that's rotating. So is there like, it is. Uh, There's Sean chasing my lifeless body across <laughs> the fucking sea of tranquility. So the guy that's in the lunar module, like uh, uh, rotating the moon, he's like, uh, this is, uh, I don't know who it was. We'll say it's uh, Andrew. No, we'll say it's Eugene. Uh, Houston, this is Eugene. Uh, listen, these two fucks and fucking slap dicks are just uh, <laughs> running around. I'm pretty sure Richard is dead and Sean's tethered to him and he's pulling him around. Can, can I just fucking come home? I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. If we were the first people on the moon, okay, if we were the first people on the moon, this is something we would totally have to do. We would totally have to play a joke on the world. Mm. Like, what would like, the joke be? Okay, so so re- picture this, okay? So you and I are on the moon, okay? And we got our suits, and there's a camera, you know, because we got the camera and everything, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so the camera's there, and like, and we're we're talking to Houston, and we're like, oh look, there's the here's the moon. Look at all these moon rocks, and uh, what's the name of this place? Let's call it the uh, Sea of Tranquility. I don't know, and and uh, what the fuck is that? Ah, <laughs> it's a fucking moon monster. Ah, it's so big. Oh God, it's eating my brains. It's in my suit. It's in my ah, suit. It says it's bees. coming from Earth next. <laughs> and then just We've cut aw- the what have we awoken? Oh my. My God! Cut the feed. They're like, well, we'll call him back in about ten minutes. <laughs> and then you just see little explosions <laughs> on the planet. <laughs> like, oh, oh, I think, oh. Sean, I think we fucked up. I think we fucked really? up bad. <laughs> oh God, Richard, what if my wife is dead? We're gonna have so many threesomes when we get back to the, <laughs> when we get back to the module. Oh yeah, we are. Wait a second. Wait a minute. When it's we get only, back to the module, there's just the three of us. It's just me, you, and Eugene. Wait a minute. That's not how that's not how it works. Can't <laughs> do that on the moon. That's not decent. You know what? I'm on the moon and I'm declaring moon rule. Moon rule number one, no three dude threesomes. That's <laughs> it's moon not gain a three way, Richard. Yeah, we can't have a three. No three ways with all guys on the moon. Rule, moon rule number one. <laughs> we start we start our own like constitution. <laughs> right in the same. Right in the same. <laughs> Rules on the moon. John, no matter how many times you write stock gain, a three-way doesn't make it true. <laughs> All right, well, let's have a vote. I vote nay. I vote yay. Ah, oh, damn it. Stalemate again. <laughs> what about Eugene? He's in the caps. His vote doesn't count. <laughs> He's out of our district. <laughs> uh, he only has an electoral college of one. We both have electoral colleges of two. He's like, why do I only get one? Because you're in the module, dick. So what would you do, Sean? If it was you and me and we had only had enough fuel to get halfway down and back, would we just say fuck it and go all the way uh, down? Like we'd know, be dead. Like there's a there's a fair chance we'd be dead. Because by the time it would take the time it would take for them, because we have the shuttle. It's not like it's not like they're gonna it's not like they have like two shuttles, right? So Apollo 10. Like it was just on. one shot. I'm assuming it was just one shuttle that they sent up and down, right? Yeah. No, they had, they had, I think they had different ones. I think the way these worked is that when they sent one off, they were prepping the other. Oh, okay. Okay. But I guess I'm saying like by the time it would take for them to prep another shuttle, send it up, send it to us, like, oh, uh, well, we'll so pro- we'd probably be dead. Like it would probably take, even if they were working at fucking breakneck speed, it would take them like probably a week or better for uh for them to get to us and by then we're dying from like dehydration probably yeah cuz the launch date for 10 was May 18th 1969 okay yeah and they walked on the moon was July 7th uh yeah and 11 launched on July 16th so about 2 months apart yeah so we're dead yeah so okay so i'm saying like fair chance you're going to die but you're the first person on the moon. Uh, you know, well, it's it would be really, really tough to go three days, survive, detach, and get essentially the closest anybody's ever gotten to the moon. And now, and not and not get there. 
Yeah, and what if you told these guys, like you said, because I mean, at this point, you're like, oh my god, like we're the closest people that ever been to the moon. People yeah. will remember our it's names. Like, it's like getting the hot. It's like getting the hot girl's number, and then like you like a like you step in a puddle, and your clothes get wet, and it washes the number off. Fuck no! This is like the dude from Saturday Night Live that was dating a uh, Andrea. What's her face? Oh, uh, Pete Davidson. Yeah, so this, this we'd be like these guys are like the Pete Davidson. So they, he got there. Yeah, he, you know, he saw it. He even, got, he even got like shit tattooed on him. Yeah. It's like, yeah, we got a patch. Yeah, we were there. And then unco- and then comes along some fucker like Neil Armstrong. Yeah. Now he that now marries just her. A, yeah. Now you're just a late 20 something with an Ariana Grande tattoo. Yeah. Nobody remembers that you're there. Like, oh, yeah, I guess you guys did get really close, didn't yeah. you? Explain you that didn't to your seal next the deal. girlfriend. Oh, yeah. When they go on their next space mission. Like they just go to the space station. <laughs> space station's like, oh, you were those guys. Yeah. So what? I bet this. I wasn't paying attention doesn't. to the mission. I was getting plowed by Buzz. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, like I said, you drive three days, you get there, and I think if you knew like people wouldn't remember your name, like it would be tough not to go out in a blaze of glory, right? I mean, see, that's uh, what I'm saying. Like I would be so tempted just to be like, you know what? I'm doing it first on the moon. <sighs> Race first to the f- first to the moon, first to glory. Fuck Neil and Buzz. If you're not first, you're last. Woo! Yeah. Do you think you have instant regret once you landed and walked out? You're like, oh, it's just kind of sandy. Yeah. Oh fuck, we're not getting back. Yeah. Oh fuck, I'm dead. You die like a slow death too, be like starvation and dehydration. Fuck that. You just oh, like once it got really bad, you just open the visor. That's a good point. There was a movie I can't remember which one was where they go to Mars. And they all have their spacesuits on because uh-huh. for some reason they're not reading the the levels right, so they don't think there's oxygen, and so they're all like slowly dying in their spacesuits from suffocation. Damn! Like a couple of them jump off a cliff, and then one guy finally takes his off. He's like, <sighs> "Like, oh fuck! Stop killing yourselves, everybody! There's <laughs> oxygen." Oh wait! Oh it's shit! It's got Val Kilmer in it. Yeah, that's what Is I was it gonna Red say. Planet I think, or the Red? Wasn't it called like Life? Was it Life on Mars? Maybe. There's like two. It was like the time where like there was yeah, always two there or was, something. There was two Mars movies. There was one that had Val Kilmer in it, and there was another one I think that had like Gary Sinise in it. From I uh, gotcha. From uh, that Ransom movie with with Mel Gibson. Mm. So, you, you know, like I said, I was thinking about this. So Apollo 10 would suck. Like, you know, you get there really close. Get Like you get out of your space shuttle. You get like within, you know, landing distance of it, and you have to come back. Yep, you don't seal the deal. Paul 11 comes around. You know, Buzz and Neil, I think, are probably the two most famous astronauts ever. You know, like, in, I thought in, I heard a quote. In human history. Yeah, I thought I heard, like, a like a, somebody says, like, you know, maybe, um, you know, a, a intelligent, you know, kind of with it person would say that Buzz Aldrin had walked on the moon. But any idiot will tell you that Neil Armstrong walked on the moon. Yeah. You know, like, I asked you, I was like, well, do you know the third member of that team that didn't get on the moon? Nope. Nobody fucking cares, right? Yep. Nobody gave us a shit. It's Neil for sure. And then like, oh, yeah, Buzz. And, it's, I, and the reason I think Buzz is very memorable, because he's got a memorable name. He does. Buzz. Like, that's kind of hard enough. Yeah, to they miss. made a toy out of him. Yeah, Buzz Light. Is that what they made the name for? Probably. Makes sense. Doesn't <gasps> it? It was Tom Hanks, too. No, Tom Hanks was Woody. No, that you think Tim Allen. Tim Allen was, yeah. was Buzz. But Tom Hanks was Woody, so at least it's tied together. Oh, no, Six it makes degrees sense. degrees of Tom Hanks. No, it does make sense. Wait, Maybe. So Tim you, Allen wasn't in a space movie. He was in Galaxy Quest. That's true, which is a great, great movie. And then we he got, he got, and that. you know what? You know what, Tim Allen? He got to captain a ship. He wasn't, he wasn't playing second fiddle. That's right. He wasn't playing second fiddle to no fucking Ryan Gosling. <laughs> <laughs> but so you think like, okay, well that sucks, right? You know, you get there, it's still cool. You see the moon, you get back. But Richard, like I said, I thought like we've been to the moon like three times. And from this, I realized, oh, no, we've been there 11, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17. We've been to the moon six times, Richard. There's been a dozen people on the moon. And I guarantee you, just like me, you can only name two of them. You can only name two. I can only name two. So how would you feel like you're, okay, Apollo 12? You know, you are less than, I guess it's like three months after the initial landing on the moon. You know, you get there, you land, everybody's like, oh, yeah, we did it again. Paul 13, you get the excitement of like, oh, no, you almost died, but you made it. Woohoo. Yeah. 
hey, congrats on, you know, staying alive, yeah. not being dead. That's awesome. Apollo 14 in January of 71. Like, like, hey, you hey. didn't fuck up like 13 did. Yeah, woohoo. 15, it's like, oh, shit, we went to the moon again. That was about six months after. Yeah. And then 16, 17, it's just like, okay. Oh, that, that thing's happening? Oh. So 16 happened in, let's see, 72. April of 72, and then the last mission, last time we've been to the moon, Richard, was December 7th of 72. So, like I said, like you said, like, oh, I think we've been there four times. We've been there six times, 12. And that's the other thing I think about, like, there are probably a few places on Earth where there's only been, you know, less than 12 human beings. Yeah. But the moon has only had 12 people set foot on it. That we we haven't been back since. Except for the Nazi moon base. So, okay, we're finishing up. We got, we've talked about the sadness of, you know, these other guys who didn't get any recognition. What's your uh, thoughts on the um, conspiracy theories that wrap around this? Are you totally anti? So there, I know there's. Am I, am I, do I believe that human beings went to the moon? Yeah, there's the fake moon landing. No. There's, uh, that we've been back since. Um, maybe. I haven't heard that one. Basically, that we went, like we went back in secret. Well, I've heard like you know, there's the whole space force that's been announced, which has been talked about for years. It's not just a new thing. But I'm saying, like, apparently we did go back in secret because we went six times and nobody, everybody fucking forgot. (laughs) Do we really need to go back in secret? Be like, hey, we went to the moon again, and people would be like, okay, what we do, moon stuff. All right, sounds good. And is that kind of like the the hubris of man? Yes. So, like the sixth one, we get back. It's like, oh, cool, yeah, sweet. Yes, like, that is what? definitely is definitely that. Like, motherfucker, I went to the moon. Yeah. I could have died. Do you think that? I know we launched people into like the International Space Station all the time, and it's not really talked about. But do you think if they set up, you know, a new new program, they call it Bromance because they're going to honor us because we're the one that's kickstarting this. So they okay. they launched the Bromance uh, project. Is that what they call them? Projects. Program the bromance program. Okay, they're going to send people to the moon again. So twenty twenty one. We got to have a reason to go. Why are we going? We got to have a reason. Well, I mean, just like Gemini, this would be in preparation to get to the to Mars. Okay. Oh my God, no! So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the moon, and then we're going to establish moon base that we're going to use to go to Mars. Like, so it's going to be Earth to Moon to Mars. Mars is going to be like the 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 turnoff. Like the like the the rest stop, where you, you so you so you leave Earth and you stop at the Moon and you get a hand job, because <laughs> that's what happens at rest stop. So you go to the so you go to the Moon and you get a you get a quick <laughs> oh, hand I'm job. Cynthia, the from Moon homeless, Lizard from a homeless Moon monster, <laughs> and then you go to Mars. Well, what sucks is like Moon is like the the gas station right outside your town. <laughs> <laughs> but no, yeah. So they launched Bromance pro, the Bromance program. They're gonna land on the on the moon in 2021. If that happened, do you think people would be excited for it? I mean, with the technology today, it would look like awesome. You, you know, know what? That's a. I'll tell you what. Like that is a good point. Like I think that, I think that if we were able to see, like, like imagine seeing a 4K image of the moon mm-hmm. or a 4K image of Earth from the moon. Yeah. Like just basically like, like 4k space. I mean, you kind of see it like you see, you know, like, I mean, we have, you know, cameras and all that stuff on the international space station, like orbiting, orbiting earth. So you see like, you know, the earth at night and all the lights and everything. And, you know, you see like, you know, the way tropical storms look and shit like that. And it all looks super cool. Don't get me wrong. But yeah, I think those drawings are amazing. Whatever artist they have doing those is really God good. Damn it. <laughs> but to be on the moon and cuz like I think the technology would be decent enough. You could you especially like you could stream a 4K you could put a get a 4K image from from the moon to earth. Yeah. Well, that's what they could do. They could put up like uh, all these webcams. They oh solar powered You could webcams. put up webcams, you could put a fucking you could put up, you could, you could, oh my God, you could put a Wi Fi hotspot on the moon. Oh, yeah, that'd be awesome. That sounds amaze balls and be like, hey, go to the moon, free Wi Fi. What's the password? Neil Uranus. was first. 
<laughs> Buzz Deep 69. <laughs> Buzz Deep 69. Buzz is a poop is a P three U S S Y or <laughs> P U three three Y Slayer. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I kind of always worry about that, the hubris, because I know they've talked about trying to push that again. Um, but like I was saying with the Space Force thing, like the idea is that like there's already been a Space Force established and they're out fighting these missions and stuff already. And there oh, already is a moon I base. So and basically, that's why we that haven't we ha- gone back. Okay. Okay. So that, so that, I didn't know that was a, that was a th- working theory. So we're fighting aliens? Uh, fighting aliens or like, like having diplomatic, like, conversations with them kind of like star trek which again kind of blows my mind because that's the whole like idea of well people are not capable of understanding that aliens exist or anything like that okay okay but that that's always been the theory is like well that's why we haven't been back since 72 which is kind of i mean you think we went to the moon six times in three years yeah and after that we're like all right fuck it we're done which i know was super expensive yeah i think that was it i think once once we once we lost interest, then the money dried up, and when the money dried up, then the program kind of died. The the program kind of died. I mean, that's kind of been the problem. That's kind of been the problem with NASA for the last like you know forty fucking years is they don't have money, which yeah, is, which they- fucking like blows my mind because when it comes to like the Apollo program. Like, think about not just the fact that, like, we put all this money into NASA and using that money, like, we went to the moon, which is which is an amazing achievement. And I think kind of galvanized us as a nation. Yeah, I mean, the, the whole Russia, and that's going back to the movie. I mean, space race Russia- and everything aside, like... Like we as a as collectively as a nation, I was like, holy fuck, we did it. Like, yeah. we spent a fuck ton of money, but we did it. Like we spent a fuck ton of money, you know. We we you, we used our taxes, and and it wasn't to like feed the homeless, and it wasn't to, you know, we didn't you know buy another tank, and we didn't you know cut taxes or you know or you know like it it, it was it was an it was it would have been a fairly easy argument to say well we could use that money at home. Well, I think they were too. Like at at the point where. Because Gemini and stuff, I think, was happening in the early 60s. Mm-hmm. So it was like a 10-year, 12-year type of run. Well, I'm saying, like, you could have easily made the argument, like, oh, we could, we could, there's a better use for that money. They're like, yeah, there is. But at the same time, like, we could go to the fucking moon. Like, how, like, how fucking amazing is that? And then, we, and then we fucking did. We went to the fucking moon, Sean. That's fucking amazing to me. When you think at that time period, too, I mean, Vietnam was going on. We had just come out of Korea. Uh, I mean, Korea, I guess, was probably about 20 years before. But still, like, there was that was a good 15, 20, like, 30 years of time where <sighs> America was pretty divided. And that really brought the country together. Oh, my God. And, and again, like, you think... And do you think the reason there's not a big push for that is because there is no other dominant space program out there? I know like China's doing pretty well. I, I think, think that Russia I think has that, something going. I think that it give. I think that it's a good excuse. And I think that you know nobody wants. I think nobody wants to make the argument like, hey, like okay, like Mars. Like nobody wants to make the. I want to put in a metric fuck ton of cash into NASA mm. because I because we sh- we need to go to Mars. No, nobody wants to say that because as soon as they do, you're going to have 50 people being like, "Why is he spending all this? Why is Richard spending all this money to go to fucking Mars? Like we could use that money on you know tax cuts and you know blah 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 yeah. blah blah well, blah." Well, I think blah. the argument on Mars too is it's kind of like we could probably get you there. Coming back is a whole different story. I know the moon was probably similar, but the moon, they kind of, at least math-wise, knew they could re- realistically get there, land, and come back. Well, with and Mars, they- the theory is is that we could essentially, that we have we have the technology, that we, well, we've had the technology since the 80s to uh, uh, basically use minerals and stuff on the planet to make fuel to come back. I gotcha. But I mean, you, you basically have to use like one of those, uh, Elon Musk rockets that can launch and land more than once. Yeah. Yeah. It's that's basically like we have to, we have to like, basically we, we, so we leave earth, go to Mars, build a gas station on Mars 
and then come back. But you got to beat their atmosphere and, you know, and the other, you know, you get there and like, what happens if you're like, oh shit, this isn't mineral A, it's mineral B. And they're like, oh, well. Well, that's why we got, that's why we got rovers and stuff. That's true. We got curiosity. Curiosity is there right now. In fact, I think they just took a vote on where to send. Cause I think right now we actually have two rovers Two working rovers on Mars, and I think they just did. A, there was a conference, and they took a vote as to where to send the rovers next to, like, collect you know samples and everything. Mm. So, what they they collect the samples, process it there, and send the data back. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. I know the. I think it's Curiosity. Wasn't it supposed to like die like five years ago? But Something like going? that, or like it, like a couple of years ago, but it's still fucking going. What if there's like some alien that's like, like out there fixing it? it? <laughs> Yeah, well, no, they're out there, like, having sex with it. They're <laughs> pumping it with, like, fuel to keep going. And then, Everything like, a piece breaks to- off, and he puts it back. Thanks, Steve. <laughs> Thanks, Blurgy Blop. <laughs> oh, I love how you do that with your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Richard, well, we kind of talked about, like I said, Ryan Gosling, first man, getting to the moon, starting the bromance program, maybe even going to Mars. What do you have for some of your Richard's closing thoughts? Um... I think I think it was what I was saying earlier. Like I think that I think that we not just as I think that we live in very cynical, very bleak, not bl- uh, bleak's kind of a strong word, but you know, like I think if you ask anybody how things are going, the general consensus is not great. And I think that we not just as a country, but I think we as a species need to have something to aspire to. We need to do something great. We need to like have an achievement. Like we need some, we like we, I think the human race needs like, we need another fucking notch in the wind column, man. Yeah. It's been a bit since we've had like a big, big win. Yeah. And I think that seeing a human being, a person, a human person, walk on Mars would be fucking like amazing. And I think that that's what we need to do. Like that's what's next, you know? Yeah. I agree. We were cavemen and we figured out how to make fire. And then we'd use that fire to fucking wander the earth. And then we wandered the earth and then we found a bunch of water and then we built a fucking boat and went across the, we figured out how to build a boat and fucking got in the boat and went across the water and found even more land and walked across that. And we fucking grabbed our Daniel Boone rifles and tamed the frontier. And we, you know, built great, we've built great big things and we've fucking dove into oceans. We've seen things that live in the bottom of the fucking ocean we tame the skies. We tame the sky. We tame the sea. We fucking tame the land. Like that. And we and then we went to the fucking moon. So now we gotta do what's next. Like that's what we that's what we need to do. I feel like we as as a species are on a are on a course of of progress. And that is I feel like that is the next step. Like that's what we have to do next. And I think that we need to stop fucking mealing around with all the petty bullshit that stops us from doing that. Well, Richard, what I can tell you is that this podcast is still going on when we decide to land on Mars, you and I will cover that live. That's right. And we'll fucking, and we'll be in the module and be like, Sean, I know they only give us enough fuel. (laughs) Let's fucking do it. Let's land on Mars. Let's land on Mars. And then we're writing big letters. Eat the beaver. <laughs> I don't care who plows my wife. I'm on fucking Mars. <laughs> uh, Houston's like, how the hell do these guys make it on this? Like, why did they get chosen first? Didn't you listen to their podcast about the moon? It was very right, inspirational. I thought it was. Only- <laughs> I mean, you get past the part where they talk about Buzz fucking their wives. and. <laughs> It kind of gives you the inspiration. It's like a rousing call to arms at the end. And it just, I don't know, kind of made me tear up, Captain. I mean, I thought about it. I really don't want Buzz fucking my wife. So what's the next step? Go to the moon. Let's go to Mars. And they seemed willing. 
<laughs> All right, well, let me do a little bit of housekeeping before we land our module. Uh, visit our website, we're at LandryBronis.com. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram at LandryBro. Email us at EatTheBeaver at LandryBroadlands.com. And make sure if you're going to be in Chicago on November 27th, you come out to see Richard and I at The Beat Kitchen in Chicago, Illinois, for the Chicago Podcast Festival 2018. Richard and I will be playing, uh, will be playing with What About Chicago? We'll, I think we go first and they go after us, but if you got a chance, check it out. we got the ticket that's information in our show notes. It's 12 bucks a ticket. And, and when you're doing things like subscribing because, you know, Oh, we need we need to get some we need to get some listenership so that way we can you know bi- we can build our own crusade to go to Mars. But when you do that, be sure to leave a rating and a review because they're super super helpful. And then next time someone searches, hey, who should we send to Mars? Then we're gonna be at the very top. Yeah, remember if you want to, or you can check us out as part of the Pod Bros Network. The Frontliners for the Space Force to the Mars. I think yeah. that's going to be the official podcast network the, of Mars. The Pod Bros program. And I want to thank Alexandria for joining our Patreon account. She's a fresh new member uh, that's helping us uh, keep bringing this podcast every week. And if you don't want to join our LB Army, make sure you can check. Also, we have an Amazon link in the show notes. No extra cost to you. And you just do your normal shopping and we get a little bit of a kickback. Yeah, that's good too. All right. Was well, there anything else before I close her out? Nope. Let's land on right. Mars. We'll be closing this out in T minus three, two. And that's all the bros we have for this show. I'm Sean. And I'm Richard. And I say we eat the Mars beaver. And get your ass to Mars. Yeah. And Buzz, stay away from my wife. You stay you the son fuck of a bitch. away from my wife. <laughs> I know you got a mean right hook, but. 